so the device is displayed uh, we have connected a couple of things here basically uh, this is how your device has to be connected the WLX652 it is connected to the power cord the network and we have a pen drive here okay so I'm going to turn on the device okay and you will see the power cord blinking not exactly blinking I mean yeah bright the system LED has come up the USB light so it will take a while for the system to initialize now to access the device is very simple what you only need to do is you need to go to your specific browser and first you need to open your router page so I just do that okay now we are on the router page simply go to DHCP and it will show you the IP address of your device so in my case it is 192.168.0.127 so I open a new tab and I type the IP address of the device okay the device will ask me for a username and password now the username is admin and the password for this device is snake so I type username and the password and I'm logged into the device now if you see I'm not sure if you can see this properly here but the device has multiple options one of them is sharing so I select share and I see that a device my USB device is already listed here if it is not you can simply click on new and create a new share so as it is already listed here I simply open my computer okay and I go to my network places and in my network I'll see my device name as snake so I double click on it and it will open my folder which has all the files in it now in case you want you can put the same folder in your my computer as a link simply copy the link and go to my computer and click on map network devices paste the address and click on finish voila now your computer has a network device you can simply click on it and it will allow you to access the device so far these devices do not support username and password authentication for network drives you have an option for printer sharing so when you connect your USB printer it will be displayed here you will be provided with a guide on how to configure your printer on network and well there are a lot of services listed in here uh, many of those work pretty fine we have a FTP server there is something called as transmission transmission is the location from where you manage your bit torrents so you click on transmission and it will ask you for a username and password again so once you log into your transmission panel now this is the place from where you download your torrents so if you want to download a torrent you simply need to get your torrent file oh my god I don't really have a torrent file for now but I will show you a video of how to access the torrents soon thanks for watching